guys, it's Tiff here for another Monday. And what the heck a heck a do I have out? Watercolors, where have they been? Well, you know, like when you have so many art supplies, it is super easy to forget about them or to just kind of toss them to the side. And well, that's what happened with me and watercolor. So, on my recent trip to the beach on my birthday, I took a very limited supplies with me and watercolor was where, like my color, you know, cause I mean acrylics, that's like, you just, that's too much, it's too much cause it's already hot and you're having to haul all that stuff down to the beach. So I just took this quick watercolor palette and I'm going to tell you, I don't love these girls. Okay, but every piece that you create, you're not going to love, and that's okay because I love the process of creating these girls. So, you're hanging out with me in the studio um, this day. I said, Let me turn the, um, the camcorder on and just film, and we'll just see what happens. And I wanted to put this video out there because, well, they're not masterpieces by any stretch of the imagination. The imagination, they, the, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The imagination she got. Good night. Okay, and so I'm just going in here with a watercolor brush. This is mostly my um, made up. Um, Daniel Smith watercolors and so I'm just kind of freestyling and one of the things that I like in not using a pencil to sketch but actually letting the water and the watercolors do what they do is the fact that you can have so much like freedom and flow within the lines so i'm going to continue to um practice watercolor this way and kind of like a free flow um no real hard lines or no real no real sketching but more letting just going in with the watercolor and um well let's just call it what it is it's a little bit scary you know, it is a little bit scary because, number one, I'm not super confident in my ability to draw. Um, so, secondly, it's about learning and creating and having fun. And if you like the end result when it's all done, then yay, yippee skippy. But, you know, if you have fun in the meantime, then that's what it's all about, too. So, I'm just letting you guys watch what I'm doing here, and I, I don't really know any real watercolor techniques, so I'm just doing whatever appeals to me. And this brush is like a faux squirrel brush. Okay, Tiffany, if I had an assistant right now, I would tell my assistant, please help me remember to find out um, what brush this is. But I know that those real squirrel hairbrushes are like super expensive. And well, you know, I just don't know enough about it to spend that type of money on it. So I feel confident that it wasn't very expensive. So I'll try to remember. Don't hold it against me if I forget. But I will try to remember to put um, the watercolor brush down below. And I will try to remember or find the tube of the Daniel Smith watercolors because this, this is a color that kind of um, granulates and so it kind of really starts to get cool as it um, dries. And I'm using not watercolor paper. So, you know, with watercolor or with any kind of medium really you need to kind of explore and try different um, papers to see which ones you like and so this one was um, the dilution square journal which is linked down below as well and you know I I don't know enough about watercolor to tell you if it's really good but it, it worked pretty good for what I was doing here so you know I just kind of wing it guys Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time watching my channel, God bless you. And um, you're probably thinking why the people watch me. But, you know, it's all your cup of tea. I'm adding her La Rouge right there. 
my granny. You know, some people have your meemaws and your grandmothers and all of those. Well, my grandmother's name was Granny. And she passed when I was very young. But I do recall that she would take, it looked like lipstick to me. And she would say, I got to put on my rouge. And she would put a little rouge on and just brighten up her little cheeks. Well, I, Tiffany, have rosy cheeks by nature. And so I don't ever wear rouge. But when I put it on, and I know I'm saying it wrong, so y'all don't even have to correct me in the comments because I know how some of y'all get. Y'all just want to tell me that I said it wrong, and I already know I said it wrong, so I'm going to tell you I said it wrong. So, um, but I don't need rouge, but I do like to put it on any of the girls that I'm drawing or sketching. So, um, I did go in and start going in with the pencil here just to lightly add um, a little bit of um, like more controlled lines and then it was not dry so that's probably not smart you just learn as you go you know and um, so yeah that happened you can't actually um, do the whole smudge and blending stomp when the product is actually not dry so eh. It's not here or there, I guess. And then I thought, well, what if, and this is how things happen in the studio. I start going like, well, what if I did that? Well, what could happen if I did that? So what could happen if I made the white of her eyes really white with the gel pen? How would that look? And that's really all about learning, exploring, trying different things out. And, you know, when I, when I got through with her, I was like, mm, sh nobody will probably ever see her. Um, and then I said, why not, Tiffany? You know, because we're all learning. We're all trying new things. And I started in on another girl. And you can tell by where my finger is and how I'm holding the brush, whether I'm more controlled or whether I'm more loose. And you will see that I'm choking up on this brush way tighter. And I really, okay, in the process of learning what you like and what you don't like, I did not like her. I did not feel like she had enough personality. The second one, I looked like it was more me drawing with watercolor up more instead of the watercolor kind of pulling out the face. I probably am not making any sense. But um, you can tell anytime that you want to be real loose, you don't want to be real tight onto your, um, your brush or your pencil. And here, I am very tight. And so, in hindsight, I prefer a more abstract, raw, very... Um, I think it's a little more interesting to me whenever I draw create that way and so I enjoy that so I will tell you that if you're going to do something similar to this or you want to try something like this do so um, and kind of play with your um, brush and where the um, like you're holding the brush and see what feels good and what type of um, effect you like because if you like a really precise, um, you know, drawing, that you may like it choked up tighter in the, uh, on the, holding the brush or the pencil. But I, for me, Tiffany, I just like it really loose and abstract. Because I don't really care if it ever, I mean, I want it, of course, I want it to look like a person because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a face. But I don't care that it looks like any one or any, you know, any real features other than that you know it's a face. And, you know, wonky faces are kind of like fun and interesting and make me stop whenever I see them. And so I'm going to work on kind of perfecting that. If you remember, I've done my Inky Girls. Um, I've done some videos. It was on the cover of um, Somerset Magazine last year, I think. But I did that with Stabilo All and water. This, I'm just using watercolor. 
without a pencil. So, you know, it's kind of different and um, kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone. But I think whenever you get, and I'm just rambling, to, guys, I'm just, you know, just talking. Like, y'all are my friends. So, I just like to talk to y'all like y'all were sitting here in the car, car with me at Starbucks because I'm on my lunch break and I'm doing this voiceover. So, but what I was saying is sometimes you kind of get caught up in like doing the same thing. And when I get to doing the same thing, I kind of get bored. So I, Tiffany, have to change it up and shake it up. Because the only way you're going to continue to learn and get better and grow and develop different and new skills is by trying different things. So if you don't get anything from this video today because, um, well... I don't really know what I'm doing, but um, go out and try something different that maybe those supplies that have been sitting in your drawer collecting dust that you kind of forgot about, grab those out and play with them. If they're watercolors, fun. Try something that you don't usually do with watercolor. You know, if you do a lot of like lettering, hand lettering and stuff like that, try doing a face. I mean... See, see what that inspires. But the watercolors at the beach for me kind of inspired me to know that I really want to get looser and more free flow. And I want these characters and these images and faces to show up in my journal. So I went in there with that, um, I think that's a turquoise. Um, color in the eyes and I this one was I was just trying like different colors and seeing if I liked the super neutrals like I did in the previous one or did I kind of like the pop of color here and there and I don't believe I could be wrong but I don't believe that I actually do any pencil work at all I keep this all watercolor and you know I like it so guys um, today's video is a little different. I want to make sure that, I, you know, we're always pushing, we're always learning, we're always trying something different. And so that's why I decided to share this um, instead of um, not letting you see me and this, um, these girls. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you are having an amazing week. It's Monday. It's a start, a fresh new start. It's actually a holiday. Memorial Day um, is today celebrated, so I hope that this, um, you're probably off work today, and you can go and enjoy and play in your paints or whatever you want to do, and I hope that it's a magical week. Please, guys, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please do it. It helps me out. Don't forget the supplies that I use in the videos are linked down below in Amazon. And when you use those links, it gives Tiff a little change to go and buy her art supplies too. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you give me the thumbs up and leave me a comment. Until next time, toodaloo.